Hey everybody, it's Pete from My Jewelry Bunch, and I'm here to talk to you today about helping you get up and running with Blender 3.0 and making it a little bit easier to use. I'm gonna show you in this quick short video today how to set up a few things just to make your life a whole lot simpler and make Blender much more easy and comfortable, comfortable to use. So let's get started. Okay, with Blender up and running, we've got our splash screen. I'm gonna click off of that somewhere to get rid of that splash screen. And let's just talk and go over some of the settings here. This is our 3D viewport. And I've gone over this before, and I wanna just kind of quickly go over this one more time. Our, our modeling 3D viewport is what comes out first. We've got layout, modeling, sculpting, all these tabs here. I encourage you to go play with those, mess around because you really can't mess anything up. You can go back and just load defaults and start over. In the last video, I did show you how to set up your workspace for working in millimeters. Now, if you are doing 3D modeling for things like 3D printing, you're probably going to want to work in millimeters. If you do things like I do, jewelry design, small object designs, I like to work in millimeters, although there are things that I like to do also like game asset design, and I'll work in meters for those. Anyhow, let's get started with this. To make life easy, working in our 3D viewport, I like to turn on a gizmo, a gizmo that helps me with object movement. And if we come over right to here, I'm gonna hit this little drop down arrow, brings up our viewport gizmos. And one that I like to turn on is the move gizmo. Now you can turn on rotate and scale. And if you notice now, we've got all these little things on our cube here. And I'm gonna just quickly go over those. The move gizmo, is the arrow key. So if I grab that arrow key, put my mouse over it, hold the left mouse button down, I can move it left and right along the Y axis. I can grab the red one here. If I just grab that and move it back and forth or up and down with the blue one. Quick and painless. Now the curved lines, if you have the rotation gizmo turned on, allow you to rotate along that one axis. I can do that at any degree here by holding my mouse and moving it just like this. Or I can hold the control key down on my keyboard, grab that little arrow, and it'll move in five degree increments. So keep that in mind. You can also change that five degree increment in the settings. We're not gonna do that today, but you can do it. Okay, so that's how you do that. We also have the little box here, and I can't really zoom in it because it's gonna stay the same size, but this little green box here, if I grab and hold that with the left mouse button, allows me to size along the Y axis. And if I grab the box that's on the red line, I can size it along the X axis. I'm gonna control Z that, and I'm gonna go back to my gizmos, and I'm just gonna leave mine to the move only. Now to make this permanent in Blender in your default settings, come over to the file menu, come down to defaults, and then hit save default file. It'll ask you one more time to do that. I missed that opportunity. And just click it a second time, and now that has become your default settings. So anytime that you open Blender, you will have this little gizmo on your default settings. Now let's move over to the preferences section of Blender. There are a couple changes and a couple options that we need to turn on to make life just a whole lot easier to work with. And I'm just gonna make my viewport area just a little bit smaller because I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna make this cube, I'm gonna make a couple copies of it, Shift D, Enter, and then I'm gonna move it over. And I'm gonna grab this one, Shift D, Enter, and I'm gonna move it up like so. So now I've got three cubes in my, in my viewport. Now let's say I wanna select this cube. If I scroll with my mouse wheel, which usually you would think is very intuitive, it just scrolls to the center of the screen. So I don't really like that, and I'm gonna show you how to change it real quick. Come over to the edit menu, click on it with the left mouse button, come down to pre preferences. When you do that, the preference options tab will open up. And one quick thing, if you come down to these three little lines here, just click on it once with your mouse button and see if there's a check mark under auto save preferences. If there is, um, leave it checked. If there's not, I would suggest just putting a check box or a check mark in that box. And then every time you make a change here and close this preferences bo uh, box, it'll save your preferences. Let's go over to interface. If we look at the interface options here under the preferences tab, pretty much the only one I use on this particular tab that I change is this. I come over here and I put in scene statistics and system memory. Those two allow me to have my uh, objects here at the bottom to tell me how many faces, vertices, triangles I have, how much memory I'm using. And then under the resolution settings, I actually have 
on, on my notebook computer, I'll work with the text a little bit bigger and you can adjust the font size of all of your uh, windows in Blender to make them a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller depending on the resolution of your screen. For now, I'm just gonna leave this at one and we'll leave it like that. Now that those are done, I'm gonna move over to Blender's navigation settings. And there's two options on this particular tab that I turn on and like to use quite often. And here's why. For instance, like I said, if I scroll in, it only scrolls to the middle of my viewport display. So I like to do two things. First, I like to zoom to mouse position. And if I click on that, I'll put a check mark there. And I also like to orbit around selected. So I'm gonna click and put a check mark in that box. Okay, with those two done, for instance, if I want to focus on this particular item, I can put my mouse over it. And if I use my scroll wheel, you can see it scrolls into that particular item. Okay, and I can do the same over here. I don't have to select it. Wherever my mouse is, is where it will scroll in. So that's kind of handy. The second thing is if I grab this particular cube, and I just want to show you, and now I hold my middle mouse button down and move my mouse left and right, you can see that it's orbiting or the entire viewport is orbiting around that selected item. If I come over here and select this particular cube, hold my middle mouse button down, move left and right, you can see it's orbiting around that second cube. So whatever item is selected, by holding the middle mouse button down and moving your mouse around, you can, you can rotate the world around that, which is very convenient. For instance, if I wanna see the opposite side just real quickly, I can move it without having to press any keys on my keyboard. So that really helps me and saves me a lot of time. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna come over here to the next step, which is the Systems tab. In the Systems tab, there's one thing I like to change, and I typically will do that immediately upon installing Blender if I don't already have this checked up. You can see Undo Steps, 32. I always change that to 75. The purpose for that is if I make a whole lot of changes and modifications to, a, to an object in my 3D viewport, if I make 20, 30 changes to it and I don't like the way it turned out, I can just press the Command Z or Control Z on my keyboard and go back until I get to the point where I'm happy and I can start over. It's just a real quick way of doing it rather than saving a different file, coming back and modifying that. Something to think about. Now, with those preferences saved, just make sure that you have uh, save preferences selected, close this box up, and uh, there you have it. You will always have those every time you open Blender in a new file. And I'm just gonna come over here, I'm gonna save those changes. I'm gonna come over file, new, general, and we're just gonna open up a new project. And here we go, I've got my cube with my gizmos on it. If I zoom out and zoom over here, you can see I can zoom anywhere I want in my 3D viewport. And if I want to rotate along that selected object, whatever the selected object is, my viewport does so. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. These are little tricks that help me with modeling and moving around and navigating through the 3D viewport. I find them a necessary part of my daily modeling procedures and they help me quite a bit. I hope they help you too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing as I'm gonna be releasing a whole lot more on Blender 3.0, some of the new features and basically how to work with it, get it, navigate it with it and set it up for you to do all your work in. Take care and have a great day.